Oh, my sweet. You are not a king for this city. And this is the best I can say to you right now. You are not going to find much joy in your new role. Oh, Jason. Do you remember the first time you touched me? That night aboard Argos? You wore a dark shadow against the starry sky. You were inspired. You said the right words in the right tone. Made the right things in the right way. My sweet Jason. You can only wonder the reason why I helped you against my own father. I had to be wildly in love. For you, the love of a woman explains and excuses everything. Traidora. A palavra ainda me queima a pele. Verreter. Das Wort brennt immer noch in meine Haut. They accuse me of so many crimes. So many. Oh, Jason, I helped you, you, but only to escape. If I followed you, it was because I couldn't bear to live in my country anymore. A lost and corrupted land. I had to run away. When you and your Argonauts arrived in my city, a revolution was taking place in the palace, instigated by me, my brother, and my mother against my father, the king. He was clinging to power. He despised the needs of my people. He had become a tyrant, just like your king. You, Jason, were in the right place at the right time. After my brother was murdered, I was the next traitor that would be persecuted by my father. I ran away with your help, with the excuse of love. I just had to help you with your tasks and your ambitions so I finally could run away or die. I still remember that night, that night, I found the body of my brother quartered, scattered across the field. I picked it up, bit by bit, bone by bone. At that point, I lost all my faith in humanity. Something was drained at that time, eternally drained. Born in fear. His death opened my eyes. His bones. I threw them to the sea. Our sea. Our black sea. The sea we love so much. I saw for the last time that face that I once loved. Endured. Distorted in horror. My father, with a heavy conscience, called the fleet back. Now the rumors start, with the single purpose of defame me. This city was laid upon a monstrosity. It rests upon a crime. No, no, I'm not crazy, believe me. 
I know exactly what I'm saying or what I'm thinking. Do tyrants always accuse others of the crimes they themselves commit? They chase me all over the city. When those people were chasing me, I was so afraid that I ran and ran and ran with all my strengths. But curiously, a part of me was completely calm. What's supposed to happen shall happen, I guess. My strengths were fading. I was getting weaker and weaker and weaker. I arrived on the outskirts to the compressed, claustrophobic streets. In the middle of the street there was a man with ruffled red hair, sweet eyes. He didn't run away. He stood there, looking at me. He catches me and drags me into his house. He saved me, my ghost lover. You cannot find them in history books. How hard must it be for you, Jason, and for all the men of your city? I, Medea, am not the miserable, betrayed, abandoned woman, but a woman that even alone in a foreigner's city found a new love, a new man. How hard must it be for you, my sweet, 